Hey love bugs, it's Riles, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support and the beautiful vibes and the nice prayers that you sent out to me. And you know, our fellow community is so greatly appreciated and is very welcome and for that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or if even if if it's about the content of my video or you just tell me about your spiritual your spiritual journey or your spiritual gift as long as it's positive it's all welcome and if you feel like my my video really gave you clarity or put you in good spirits don't be stingy go ahead and share share the love share the word share, share the word spread the word <laughs> and spread the love give me a thumbs up like and even share it will be greatly appreciated and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I hope you can get something out of my video today and the music that I'm listening to right now is called serious energy cleanse balance the mind letting go of the underlining stress and emotional scars a lot of us need to hear this meditation so I will post that link in the description box below I'm gonna turn it down a little bit too because I don't feel like yelling today and my video today is about twin flame 101 y'all I'm hot twin flame 101 hey Oka's on keeping it real I ain't even got no tea but I'm gonna drink it like it's tea But, ooh, I needed that. Y'all been be dehydrated lately. I've been drinking these monster drinks and knowing I need to stop doing that when I be telling y'all to meditate and drink water. It was just like my energy has been all over the place. But, yeah, hey, Oka's been keeping it real. You know, we good for that. <laughs> we ain't so good for that. And a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people appreciate it. And some people are just annoyed by us. But that's okay. That's okay. It's, you're supposed to keep it real. You know, but just don't be brutally honest because sometimes we can be very brutally honest and we have to be mindful of other, pe other people's feelings. We have to. And it, it's just like, you know, some people don't like that truth. That pill called truth. <laughs> that pill called truth. Because, I mean, y'all, I've been doing this for a little bit over a year. And it becomes more comfortable that, you know, our fact is I get these downloads and I'm just like, you know, Make a content about this. Make a content about, about that. I can sit up here and watch a video that I'm really feeling some vibes about. And they'll give me so much understanding and peace that, you know, I got to say, hey, you know, I watched this video about this, this, and this, and that. And this person sent me over towards this video and it really did something to me. So it's just like I love when I can see a fellow YouTuber, you know, pushing out positivity, you know, you be brutally honest and br be brutally blunt because a lot of us, we need to hear that. Even though it's not pretty, it's the truth. It really is the truth because that's what we do. We, we bring entertainment to people's lives. We bring joy to people's lives, but it's just, it depends on who we are around. We bring up things that they need to heal from, things that they need to recognize about themselves, that they need to change or, you know, they need to enhance or whatever. But you always supposed to keep it real and don't be worried about what people say. And I tell y'all that a lot. Don't be don't don't be worried about what people think of you and how it might come off. You know, unless you you know you're being mean or you're you're you you know you're being malicious or something like that, you know, um malefic or whatever you wanna call it. You know, just you can be sweet. You don't have to be, but I'm just saying you can be polite. <laughs> and tell them how you truly feel you know especially when we're doing it in the workforce I mean there's times where I don't blurt it out you know we had this one woman oh my gosh and people laugh at me because they you know if anybody watching my videos and knows that you know they used to work with me you know especially folks that used to work on my nerves um it, 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 it just comes to that point where I mean I come up with nicknames there was this one woman 
I ain't gonna give out any names, but she looked like Big Mama from Big Mama. I mean, had the same curly wig, boy, she, and that hairnet. <laughs> hairnet be stuck in the same spot with that one little curl just sticking out that hairnet. Like, she take the wig off and put it on the wig head with that hairnet with that one little damn curl hanging out. And I had to tell, you know, there was one woman just working on her nerve, one co-worker, and I'm just like, why are you working on this woman's nerves when you know as soon as you make her mad, she about to work on everybody daggone nerves. And you know she worked on my last nerve. And I ain't trying to deal with her today. And everybody looked. And they started busting out laughing. And the woman I was talking about, she was standing right there. She knew I was. I said, what? Well, it's true. You know, and there was a lot of people that had to walk off like, no, she did not just tell that woman. She did not just just basically tell that woman to pick her face up because she worked on everybody damn nerves at the job. But it was true. It was true. That woman caused me hell and she gave everybody else hell too. But the only thing is, I was only bold enough and wanted to tell her to her face that she worked on everybody's nerves. And yeah, I got fired from that job because I cut somebody out. But that's besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the point. I had co-workers coming back to me because, you know, I was working at... Uh, for a dining facility working for the military feeding the troops. So I, I just so happened to see one of my old co-workers and she was like, you know what, Rosalind, that's one thing I can say about you. Well, there's many things I can say about you. But for you being as young as you are, you are always respectable, but you always stood your ground because I was somewhat like the tiniest one there. And it was like a brunt working with a whole bunch of old women. You know, they bitter. Some of them be stuck in, you know, wishing they were still young. So they get mad at the young ones because they're young. But I had a good head on my shoulders. You know, I wasn't, I was fresh and learning how to cook because theirs is like from scratch on everything. And when I used to work at the military uh, installation in a different state, you know, we, we didn't do stuff like that. So it was just working in a different place. They were already set in their ways. So it was like me having to deal with so much stuff. Like I was at it. I was at it. But when, when you keep it real, you keep it real. You might gain some friends. You might gain some enemies too. And you know, trust me, I don't gain a lot of enemies, but that's all right though. Cause they ain't never one that can say, especially, you know, a lot of people gonna have something to say, but a lot of them didn't like what I said. A lot of them, I got the point across. You know, when you have them people running around trying to be like you and stuff like that, you have to encourage them. You've got to find your own identity. You, only you can play you. They, nobody can play you but you. And you go off and you you know, you, you be the best Hayoka you can be. You stand in your truth. You know, a lot of people might not, you know, be for how you put, you know, your knowledge out there, because sometimes with us Hayokas, we'll smack them right down the sides, like, hey, come here, <laughs> well, come here, I'm going to have to embarrass you and make you make you question your existence, but it'll be all right, though, it'll be all right, so you keep keeping it real, you walk in your truth, and, you know, don't be worried about what other people think, you know, when it, when it comes to folks like that, the, the right ones will be in your corner, trust and believe that. You'll gravitate towards the right ones that need to be there. Other than that, hey, we all got to learn someday. You're going to learn today. Well, I hope you were able to get something out that, you know, out of this message. Hope you were able to, you know, resonate. You know, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to hear from you. You know, stay blessed, stay prosperous. Know that there's always somebody that's out there that loves you truly deeply. That's always playing, praying for your better good. Spread love, spread prosperity as possible. And I will see you on my next video. Spread as much love if you possibly can, too. And be kind. Much love, peace, and be wild.